Hey everyone, Shabby Gaming here and welcome back to another random match here on WWE 2K17. Now this one is going to be one suggested by Jay over at Gaming HD and it is going to be Triple H taking on Bobby Roode and uh, Stephanie will be at ringside. Now the one thing about these face scans that he would do, it, all, it almost looks like um, Bobby's face is just like in 2D. His nose doesn't stick. If you look at Triple H's nose, it seems to um, be out of the body whereas... Bobby, I don't know, it's, it looks like a pretty good Bobby Roode, I must admit, it does look really good. Um, it's, it's a little bit odd, we'll see what it looks like in the ring, of course, that's the main thing. What it looks like now is not a problem, it's not really a, a problem at all, really, is it? So yeah, trying to see Triple H making, I wonder how long it'll be before Triple H does actually have a match at NXT. I, I, I imagine it'll happen at some point. It, NXT is his, uh, is his baby, so having a match in front of the NXT crowd against one of the big guys in NXT, like a Bobby Roode, could be a real good, um, real good way for him to uh, to step into the next level, I suppose, and him to take NXT up a level as well. So first time we're using Triple H and uh, Stephanie. I like the way in the exhibition mode it sort of hints at you and says, "Look, it, it doesn't say do you want to add a manager, it says do you want to remove this manager." So it means that every time Triple H comes out for a match, then Stephanie will be with him uh, about 60 yards behind by the looks of it. So of course if you guys do have any suggestions for random matches then please do let me know by dropping them in the comment section below and I will try and get them recorded for you as soon as I possibly can. And they'll go into a big hat and uh, everything gets pulled out at random so I don't make any choices so uh, hopefully uh, everyone gets a fair go at it then basically because last year people were um, suggesting things and then straight away chasing for where their videos were and it wasn't really fair because people have suggested videos months and months ago. And um, yeah, obviously there should be ahead of the list. So what I've done this year is literally just left it to completely to random. So hopefully no one can moan at me, basically. So I'm interested to see what this Bobby Roode looks like in the ring. Now, I, I, one thing I have noticed if, uh, something to keep an eye on if you are downloading stuff from the community creations at the moment is that a lot of the created wrestlers at the moment do not have entrances and do not have move sets. I believe this Bobby Roode does have, and this will be our first created wrestler that we're going to see in a random match as well, I believe. I think it is, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see just how he pans out. We've used a couple of created wrestlers, of course, in our universe mode already. We've used uh, we've used uh, Brian Kendrick over on Raw. Although I've, I've downloaded another new Brian Kendrick over the top of that one now. We've also uh, used Mojo Rawley on SmackDown. But I'm not quite sure if that's would have been uploaded, but I, I would imagine that would have been uploaded by now. I'm not sure, tell the truth. I won't see what happens. I won't give out any spoilers just in case. Triple H, you're milking this entrance, man. You can go in like three minutes already, your entrance. And there we go, Triple H's entrance is completed. And now it's time for the glorious one. Why has he got any music? I can't hear anything. Glorious. Yeah, there is no music there, but he seems to have the correct entrance at least. I know his nose is is not flat on his face; it does actually have some 3D to it. So it looks like they've um, they've just not used the music, which I'm sure I could really find some sort of music in the. Um, there's quite a lot of generic music on the game this year. That's one thing that I thought was pretty cool actually. So I think we might get a chance to uh, to maybe um, find something that we can use for him. Oh, there is music there, is there? There is music there, yeah, it's not... It's not great, really. I think uh, I think it would really suit him as Ric Flair's music. I don't know why. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how uh, Bobby Roode acts in the ring as well. Like I said, they have done his moveset on this created wrestler, so that's pretty good to see because it can get very, very annoying when you... Um... Well, we had that, didn't we, at the end of 2K16. The last one from last match we uploaded, and um, it didn't have... The uh, it didn't have the correct um, move set on Kane. That was really annoying. That was and Kane tried to win the match using a DDT. So hopefully this time we can do a little bit better. I have tried to check anyway, at least. The entrances look right. 
It's amazing that we put these two guys together in a match and almost five minutes, the first five minutes of the video are literally all just, um, they're all just entrances. It's crazy, isn't it? There you go. Bobby Roode getting around the back of Triple H straight away and dropping him in a backdrop onto his own arm. That's quite clever, that is. Does some damage to the arm as well. Bobby Roode continuing to, to stay in control. So far, we've not seen managers be that much of an influence. I think uh, Paul Heyman was a bit of an influence in the uh, in the Paul Heyman, um, Paul Heyman in the Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg match. He had a bit of influence in there, but apart from that, we've not seen a lot of um, the managers. Triple H, they're reversing that backdrop into a crossbody. Triple H now with a sidewalk slam as well. Taking him down. And Triple H now taking some control of this match. I'm not quite sure why um, the back of Bobby Roode's head is so bald. That is a bit of a strange hair. That's the one thing that I'm not overly sure on this core is, is just the hair at the moment. It looks a bit weird. It might be completely right. It might just be maybe... Um, over analyzing it, but it just looks a bit strange. Bobby Roode there with the uh, reversal there with the arm drag. So, of course, as I mentioned earlier on, then please, uh, if you do have any suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. Um, Jay gave me quite a lot of suggestions, so he's had quite a few of these matches done so far, I think, as well. Um, the hat is looking a little bit lighter than it was a couple of days ago, so of course, I do need some more suggestions. I've got quite a few in there still. I'm sure every single one says Jay on it, though, to tell the truth. <laughs> and there's, there's a few other ones in there. I've already. Um, Drawing the next match out of the hat as well. And that's someone different. That's Oxley Plays is going to be the next match. So if you are watching this, Oxley, then keep tuned. You're coming up very, very soon. That's if I remember what order I'm supposed to upload these matches in, I suppose. That's a very, very good point. Bobby Roode now hoisting himself up to the top rope. And uh, pointing down at Triple H. Triple H is now slowly making his back up to his feet. What is Roode going to do here? Double axe handle taking Triple H down. Into the pin he goes. One, two, only a two count. Rude now bringing Triple H back up to his feet, but Triple H reversing with that sort of judo style arm drag. Now hoisting Rude back up, but Rude again with the judo style arm drag himself. Dropping the elbow into the chest of Triple H. And Steffi is now up on the apron, so it looks like the manager is going to have some effect on this match. Bobby Roode, big right hand to the side of the head. So Triple H, sorry, he's right to the big right hand to the side of the head. And now a cheeky little dragon suplex there as well. Not the move you expect Triple H to be dragging out, a dragon suplex, is it really? But he's done well. There's the pin, one, two, only a two count. Triple H just stamping on the back now, the grounded Bobby Roode, bringing him back up to a, a kneeling position and into that short, sharp DDT. As Stephanie throws a chair into the ring, this is a, a normal match. There, there is disqualifications in this one, so uh, unsure what the plan is here. Triple H now dragging Bobby Roode across the ring, dropping a knee into his face. Stephanie up on the apron now. That was... Um, that was a bit rough, wasn't it? Stephanie up on the apron, distracting the referee, allowing Triple H to use that chair. Although Triple H did grab the chair and walk straight in front of the referee when he did it. There's the big spine buster by Triple H. And I think that interference by Stephanie is going to be enough to give Triple H this match. Utilising the chair and the huge spine buster as well too. No Bobby Roode kicks out. Triple H now taunts into the crowd. Referee seen the chair in the corner, slides it back out of the ring. Going to make sure that Triple H can't get any more advantage from that. Hunter now just stalking the grounded Bobby Roode. Big kick into the gut. And we've seen this before many a time over the last 20 years. There is the pedigree. And Triple H rolls Bobby Roode over. And surely for the one, the two, and the three count. There we go. Triple H picks up the victory here over Bobby Roode in this random match. Uh, big help there from Stephanie throwing the chair into the ring, though. 
Triple H was able to use that chair, even if uh, the referee probably would have seen it. But then again, is the referee really going to tell his boss off and use the chair? No, he's probably not. He's probably going to allow him to do what he wants, really, isn't he? So there we go, another random match down. Of course, if you have any suggestions for random matches, as I said, drop them down in the comment section below and I will get them recorded for you. And you will get a shout out in the process, just like Jay at Gaming HD has here as well. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please do hit that like button. It does really help me out. And of course, if you are new around here and you've enjoyed what you've seen, then consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Uh, there's a lot more 2K17 coming over the next few weeks. Uh, I'm off work for another week, so uh, I'm really going to be plowing a lot of videos on. So uh, please join me for that. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.